What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Steve Boosa GS. We got another scorecard reaction for y'all, and you already know what it is. Let's get it. All right, this is a little bit different. We're going to do this in a Go Subscribe Sunday type fashion. You know what that is. Uh, that means that we have an artist that has under a 1,000 subscribers. Uh, this artist in particular is actually at like the brand new stages of a YouTube account. Uh, five subscribers currently, six views on a new drop. Uh, what we're going to be doing is checking it out. If we decide that we like it, we're going to subscribe right here on the video. Uh, I encourage you guys to do the same. Always glory goes out to the artist. Uh, but this is a little bit different. So this one did not go through the quality team whatsoever. This could be literal garbage or liquid gold, and I would have no idea about it. This is actually somebody from the GS gang. It's somebody that I see comment a lot. I enjoy their commentary. Uh, we go back and forth sometimes, and... If I get familiar with your name and the type of videos and stuff like that that you watch and you have an interest, uh, eventually I just said that, hey, fuck it. I'll take a look at it. I'm not going to wait for the quality team or nothing like that. We'll jump into it. Uh, he's actually been super, super patient with me. I told him a few weeks ago that I would get to it. And then I got sick. I had the wedding, yada, yada, yada. So uh, salute to him for not pressuring me about it and just like kind of letting me get to it at my own pace. That's super dope. Um, other than that, let's hop into it. Do me a favor. Run the gauntlet. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Little bell notification, guys. Uh, we're going to break this down. Now, with that being said, when we get somebody from the GS gang that comes up on this shit, right? Like, they know what it is already. They already know what time it is. So, like, I don't got to hold back. We ain't got to put the kid gloves on or nothing like that. I like that. Uh, we're we're going to be able to... Uh, we're going to be able to call it how it is. So what you guys need to do down in the comments is just be vocal. If you check it out, say what you like, say what you don't like. Any type of constructive criticism, positive or negative, uh, if formatted in a sentence properly without being disrespectful, can definitely help an artist. So let's get into it now. Let's get into it. Enough talk, enough talk. We have Freaky Steams. That was a wild name, my guy. Uh, Hard Life featuring Hannah, Hannah Malls. Hannah, Hannah Namals. Hannimals? Hannimals? Hannah Namals? Hannah Namals? Hannah Namals. Uh... I hope this is trash now, just so I don't have to memorize how to say that. Man, tell me how to say your name down in the comments. I don't like fucking people's names up. Let's go. Okay. Right off the bat, what are you getting? Dark room vibes? I got a dark room music vibes right off the bat. I like this beat. I'm a Zamele. Chill with Nick. Woke up to see, it was only a dream. I'm a Zamele, chillin' with Nicky. Woke up to see, it was only a dream. Yeah, yeah. Watch me now, fuck things up. Ready with my guns, never walk alone. Click, fuck me now, fuck things up. Chasing on my dreams, never giving up. Uh, what me now, fuck things up. Ready with my guns, never walk alone. Yeah. What me now, fuck things up. Chasing on my dreams, never giving up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, this life is hard enough, I cannot break a link. Slowly step in it just to make me a leave it. I'll follow all your paths, I wanna make your mistakes Probably you don't know how I live my life I fuck with life, I hit on life, I treat this life like it's my son Be company all the shit I do, if all I do is kind of son Alright, let's break this down, a couple of things, we got about a minute into it Um I like the contrast of voices between the first person and the second uh, person Production wise, your audio track is too low compared to the beat track. Your vocal track is too low compared to your audio track, right? So figure that out however you want. Uh, I don't know exactly what was said during the deeper voices uh, portion of this. Uh, I do feel like it gave sonically a good uh, contrast between the two of them, uh, but you, it, it's not super crisp, super clear. What does that mean? That means that this is a, a new up-and-coming artist that's probably engineering a lot of this stuff themselves. It's not like studio quality, all right? With that being said, a lot of that stuff gets fixed further down the line automatically when somebody starts taking the stuff more seriously and has a budget for productions. Um, but I don't want to harp on that too much. I just want to note, uh, pointed that out for a little bit of like advice. Uh, I would I would up the volume on the vocal tracks for this just to make it a little bit more crisp, a little bit more cleaner. Probably you don't know how I live my life. I fuck with life, I hit on life, I treat this life like it's my son. Be company all the shit I do, even all I do is kind of that's none. I'm gonna do this, I won't go, I'm dead and done Don't drink argument like what I'm I'll break another bubble, country through your muscles I'm all about my hustle, shoot this train like nozzles 
All I know is how to run, but all your fans don't fumble Call me straight at the bottom, I'm gonna make your tumble I'm Mr. Millie, chillin' with Nick Alright, what do I like, what do I dislike about this so far? It, it is very difficult for me to like decipher and break down the lyrics um, So I don't really know if your barn is up very well or not uh, but your music theory seems to be there. Like you seem to know what makes a good song. I like the flow switches, the pitch, the the pitch control between the flow switches. Uh, and again, I think you have a really good contrast between the verse coming back into the hook. It gives you a very chill vibe. I think you're nailing the vibe. I think you're nailing the music theory. Production is is pretty bad. Uh, which would make this not go on one of my playlists until that got fixed. Uh, and lyrically, it's, it's it's difficult for me to give you advice on bars that I like or bars that I dislike when I can't really make out 100% of what's being said. Uh, that could be a combination of the production, uh, of an accent, uh, of uh, so on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? Um, but those those principles are present there, uh, which which is kind of like putting up a little bit of a blocker for me to give you like a full breakdown. It was only a dream. I'm a villain. Tell it with Nick. Book up a seat. It was only a dream. This part is like super dope though, sonically. Like listen to how their contract I like the little the the like the the sample that they have and the, the the like the squeaky voice on the actual audio contrast with the deep voice that's on the hook. Like it sounds good. I just don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> like, that that's my only issue. Like, you can tell that the music theory is there. It's very, very difficult to judge lyrics on this. Life is hard, these times are hard, these men are hard, this shit is hard, you fake retard, please mind your glass, see I'm a star, freestyle like a glass, yeah something like that, that pick your mind, this world is mine, this shit is mine, a little boy try to make you be your one of clipping wings, you're pulling back in like white boy trying to pull them strings, you're killing drinks, you fuck with him, you talk with him, but you find a prince, he fucked to lead, he's fucked to kill all these motherfuckers on his back, man, he's point to win. He's got all the pointers, yeah, he's got the link. He got his wings, he got his dreams, he got gold flowing in his veins. He's born a king. Alright, so I was able to hear all of that. You're not bringing anything special to the table lyrically, but this doesn't have like a barred up feel to it. This sounds like a commercial track. This sounds like something super dope that you would want played at the hookah bar. This sounds like something that you would want played like in a an actual like commercial setting, like radio type vibes, which you're probably going to steer away from lyrically, right? Uh, with that being said, again, the production quality of the, of the vocal track is degraded to, to say the least on it um but the music theory the bot like there is no doubt in my mind with a proper budget and an engineer that these artists together on this exact beat would be able to make a song that at least was a fucking bop like you can tell like it's got all the elements put together of somebody who knows what makes a quality track it just doesn't look like they have the equipment or ability to do it yet that's that's my honest opinion on this uh lyrically there's nothing spectacular there's nothing that's like super above average or anything like that that i've, I've picked up on so far uh but it's also i haven't heard anything I haven't heard a lot, period, right? But the stuff that I have made out was just like, it was like, all right, this, this is like a commercial track. We're not looking for the fucking bars of the century. It's just, it's it's a chill-ass vibe. I like that so far. Woke up to Z. It was only a dream. I'm a Millie. Chilling with Nick. Woke up to Z. It was only a dream. Yeah. Watch me now fuck things up Ready with my guns Never walk alone Nigga Watch me now fuck things up Just in all my dreams Never Like this goes Like this does actually go You be lying if you said that this doesn't go I just don't know what the fuck is going to Never give it up Watch me now fuck things up Ready with my guns Never walk alone Yeah Watch me now fuck things up Just in all my dreams Never give it up Yeah 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 Bitches just in my Bitches onto my villa a little bit of positive message vibes in there too. I fuck with that. You guys already know. When it comes to that notion, my friends take the blood to my granddad. They be stressing my hula. Put this one to my hula. When it comes to that notion, my friends take the blood to my granddad. When I'm taking 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 the blood to my granddad.
nice little, nice subtle fade to black. I liked it. I'll tell you what, for, I, I'm going to throw a sub. I don't know if you're going to get subscribers off of this Go Subscribe Sunday because there is there's a lot, there's a long road to go production-wise, right? However, I think that anybody that studies music and has an understanding of music theory and just enjoys hip-hop in general can see that you do have a lot of the pieces already in place to what would make good music or soothing sounding music like sonically pleasing music i don't think you're the next fucking jadakiss that's coming out lyrically um but if you're just looking to make dope vibes to fucking chill and vibe out to like this was not bad dog this is like for five subscribers i expected this to be much worse let me keep it a buck with you i expected this to be a lot worse for a song with six views five subs uh let's pull up the scorecard let's break it down are we small let's get small all right, we small. Let's go into it. We are brand new. Shout out to GS Gang members, though. You know I love y'all. Uh, target audience for this one. I do believe I am. Because, come on, man. You know I love fucking dark music. Let's go. Uh, proper setting for this. Again, I'm a broken record on this one. Let's go. Bars or lyrics? I don't fucking know, my guy. <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you, like, I'm going to keep it 100 with you, right? We're going to give, like, I'm going to give you, like, a 15 out of 25, right? Here's why. Here, the thing I can tell that the syllable matchups were there. If the syllable matchups weren't there, it wouldn't sound sonically pleasing. Even if I don't know 100% what you're saying, you can still tell when the rhyme and the cadences match up and doesn't make it sound awkward. Doesn't fuck up the music theory. Um, however, nothing stood out. I could not give you one quotable from this. Right? Um, it's all kind of just, just it's all kind of just like vibes and good feelings, which like it is what it is. It's it's, it's more akin to mumble rap because of the audio quality, which still has a huge marketability to a ton of people that are out there. The delivery, I actually think the delivery was not bad at all. I think the delivery was pretty good. Um, the hook was a bop. The bridge into the hook was a bop. Uh, again, you can tell that the music theory was there. For I would, I would give, um, I would give it a 21 out of 25. I think it was an unexpected dope flow or melody that they caught on there, and the the switch from the verses into the hook were super super clean and like really did like I was I was bopping. You can watch the video back. Like I was a little bit bopping here and there. Like I liked it. The beat selection was super dope. This beat is crazy. I like it a lot. 15 out of 15. The sample used in the background is absolutely fire. Uh, hands down, the the beat and the hooks um, together were contrasted with the verse, just made for something that sounded super super sonically pleasing. Sound quality mixing is fucking terrible. Really, really bad, right? So out of 15, I'd probably give it like a 5. And that, that, That's not being generous. I think it's like legitimately a 5. I think that's a good rating for it. Effectiveness. Does this make you want to listen to more of this artist? Absolutely not right now. I would be more interested to see what these artists can do a year from now. What these artists sound like two years from now. After they've had some experience, put out some more songs. Maybe get a little bit more of a budget. Put the $35 out to go and get it mixed properly. If you need a hookup, let me know. I'll give you a hookup to Gatsby and see what his prices are. Like that That's thats where we're at with this. Um, what, do I, what would I rate that? Effectiveness? I like that 5 area. I'd give it a 5. Enjoyability. Um... Enjoyability, I'd give it a straight up uh, four. Did some things well? Uh, that means did some things well. Needs obvious improvement, but has potential, and I mean that. And a lot of where this needs the, to have improvement, have potential is doesn't really have to do with skill. Unfortunately, a lot of this does seem to have to do with like the 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 hardware slash software engineering side of this. Uh, the two of these cats together on a track, you can tell that they know what would make a good sounding song. And it did kind of bop. 65 even sounds kind of low to this. I kind of, I, maybe I was a little bit harsh in the scoring, uh, you know, especially since I wasn't able to pull a lot of lyrics. Losing 10 points out of that does hurt. I had this as more of like that 70 range to me. Uh, but a 65 and you got my sub. That's the full breakdown. Let me know. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know down in the comments below. As always, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I will catch y'all on the next one. Let's go. Go.